The European Union and Canada have finally signed the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. The multi-billion dollar free trade deal will remove 99% of custom duties between the two sides. It nearly collapsed due to opposition from Belgium's French-speaking region. Protesters smeared in fake blood rallied around the deal in, against the deal in Brussels. They say it will damage local economies and the environment. But Canada's Prime Minister says even small businesses can take advantage of the agreement. The work uh, is only just beginning right now as we assign and uh, ratify hopefully soon uh, this agreement. Uh, it is then upon us all to ensure that our small businesses, that our uh, industries take advantage of the access to new markets, take advantage of uh, the increased competition to innovate and to advance their own capacities to succeed. Uh, that's what trade is all about. It's not just signing the accords, as difficult and as important as that is. It's about the follow-up that we continue to demonstrate and give tools to small and medium-sized businesses, uh, to individuals uh, in our uh, uh, on both sides of the Atlantic. Well, for more on this story, Elena Cassas joins us now live from Brussels. Elena, we heard there that there has been some, uh, this time last week rather, there was some fairly uh, uh, preventative opposition to it in the form of French-speaking uh, Belgian region of Wallonia. How did this EU deal really come to, uh, come to be, given it was also last minute? Well, the ink is now dry on the EU-Canada trade deal, but that doesn't mean the vocal protest movement who opposed it have been silenced by any means. When Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau arrived here in Brussels this morning, he was met by angry demonstrators. Now, of course, two days ago, it looked like the whole deal would be blocked by the tiny francophone region of Belgium, Wallonia, a parliament that represents less than four million voters. The Belgian government finally did broker a last-minute deal with the Wallonia Regional Assembly on Friday, under which Belgium has promised that it's going to carry out a social and environmental audit of the deal because Wallonia was worried that its farmers would be undermined by cheap imports from Canada. Belgium's also agreed to take the idea of investor state tribunals to the European Court of Justice. Now, that sounds very dull and legalistic, but what it means is that the trade deal would create courts that would allow corporations to sue European member states if they pass laws that affect those companies ability to make money in Europe. Now the protesters and, in, and indeed the Wallonian government believe that this is undemocratic and now that the Belgian government is going to ask the European Court of Justice to uh, arrive at a legal opinion on this, it could be thrown out completely. The ECJ often takes years to arrive at a decision on anything and they could reject the idea of investor state tribunals entirely. So while this deal has been signed, the protesters do have the wind in their sails. They feel like they've won important concessions from the European Union. All right, Elena Casas for us in Brussels there. Many thanks.